Hey guys, and welcome back to the garden. Welcome, welcome, if you're new here. My name is Blanca. You guys, today's video, I am just going to walk around really quick. Um, we are actually under a tropical storm. I can't believe this. Um, it is June 4th today, and we've had some really, really bad weather the past two days. Hopefully, it will subside. Hopefully, it'll start getting better. Now, we did get lots of rain, lots of rain, especially overnight. Um, and I'm hoping that today it stops because it has been just um just crazy everything's flooded we even had to empty out the pool a little bit um because it was starting to overflow um so i am out here looking at my orchids making sure they're okay especially the brand new ones that i attached and i also want to um just take a look at everything everything is really wet wanted to let you guys know that now if you guys are going through the same you know conditions as i am it's a great time to start um treating for fungus even if you do it with just like a preventative like Fizan 20 and which is what I'm going to be using I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be mixing and as soon as the rain stops for a few hours my plan is to come out here and spray I want to give them a little bit of a break um, it's not raining right now as you can see uh, but it was raining like 15 minutes ago <laughs> um, and it'll probably start raining in a few minutes um, so everything is drenched I get scared that um, fungus is going to start um, developing if I don't spray at least a preventative. So especially in this area here, which is more, um, you know, it's more more full. It has more orchids inside. The, the, um, the ventilation in here is great, but I feel like they're just getting just too, too wet. So I'm going to treat. I'm going to show you what I'm going to treat with. Um, but in the meantime, before I get back to under my terrace, I just want to take a look around and see how, you know, everything is doing. Because like I said, um, I haven't been out here since I did the unboxing from Smiley. You guys are loving that. I love her. She's, uh, she's the best. Um, she sent me some, she sent me some, um, some divisions of her Oncidiums and they're, they were spectacular. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, it's the one that I posted before this one and it was amazing so just doing kind of like a, a walk just checking everything um of course everything looks lush green and beautiful i love coming out here after the rain um, but when it's just so much rain you need to treat because um it's just it's just too much they don't have an opportunity to to, to dry out so just making sure that nothing is um, tumbled over. It wasn't that windy. It was just a lot of rain. I mean, really bad. <laughs> Let's see, just making sure everything is, is a-okay. I do see the fronds. I mean, these guys never take a break from falling over my over my orchids. Oh, you look good. Look at the ferns. I put the ferns here. Um, so since they, they need to get lots of lots of water, I put them out here so they can just... be soaked. And they are soaked. Everything is soaked. Yeah, so um, the circulation in here is, is really good. So I don't get too worried. Um, like when it rains every day, um, I don't get too worried because they do dry up fast because it's um, now in the summer, it'll rain almost every day, but then it's so hot that it, they dry up right away. So I'm not worried about everyday rain. I'm just worried about um, like what we had, which was like nonstop for 24 hours. Um, that is when I get a little bit worried and then I want to treat. So, I mean, everything looks good under here. Nothing's been, nothing's been tumbled over or anything, which is a good sign. My Violetta is looking gorgeous as always. Ben is having the Violettas on sale this weekend, you guys. So if you're local and even if you're not local and he's got some smaller um, cuttings or smaller um, orchids for you guys, he can, uh, he can send them to you. I think they're 20% off this weekend, which is an amazing amazing deal because look at the look at the beauties so banjong orchids um in miami florida is having 
Avanda Violetta sale. I did um, add that to my Instagram to let you guys know. I just love this. Look at this. I just love this Vanda. So let me show you what I did with, um, with the Eurydice that was sent to me. Now this is mine. She's about to bloom. And you know what? I do have a name for her. For her. I think she's called the Eurydice Alada. Eesh, I can't think of it now. I should have looked at it before I turned this, this camera on. Um, but this is one of the cuttings I have down here. So I am thinking to put her definitely on a Vanda mesh. Um, so I need to go get a Vanda mesh um, from Ophi, from Chris, and from Carlos. Because I think that I'm going to want to put her on a mesh rather than on a tree. Because she didn't, um, she's, uh, she's in cuttings. Unless I can find um, some type of, of little basket and hang her up like my other, like my other man does. Starburst. Showstopper. She's amazing. She smells you guys so, so good. I wish you guys can smell her. smells amazing all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give um i'm gonna give it a few minutes hopefully let's see how, it, how the sky looks <laughs> hopefully we take a break from the rain this way i can start um i can start treating for Fizan soon so let me know how you guys are um are faring over there i know that everybody um that's in my area has been dealing with all this horrible storm weather i know um broward is getting lots of rain um so a little bit um so north of us you guys are getting lots of rain let me know if you guys are starting to treat as well all right so this is one of the smaller divisions like one of the smaller cuttings i put her here for now but the one that was a little bit bigger of my aretas i think i'm gonna put her here where i have my shamburkia so really, I, I don't want to mount these. My Vandas don't do well mounted. I think that putting her on, um, on a Vanda mesh like this will be good. Just um, so I can keep an eye on her. This is my cutting from Loli. Thank you, Loli, so much. She actually gave me three, three different cuttings, good sizes. Even this one that's smaller has flowers. So maybe I'll get them their own um, little cage like this set up. Maybe I'll, I'll just leave one with the Schemberkias. I don't know yet, still playing around. I need to go by, and since the weather was so bad yesterday, I really couldn't go anywhere. So that's what's going on with those cuttings. Um, and all of the Ancidiums that I got from Smiley, you guys, they're all out already. Look at this, I have to fix this. So this happens, this one's my sweet sugar. So this sweet sugar, um, this type this this Uncidium dancing lady type sweet sugar does have the bigger suda bulbs um i got a lot lots of questions in the um in the comments you guys i know i have not answered any of the questions in the comments or any of um any of the of the comments that you guys have left left in like the last three videos it's just been super busy for me but i will get to your comments as soon as i um as i close this one up um i do read them i just haven't been able to um to answer you guys so um, one of the questions that I got was, uh, what is the difference between the dancing ladies? So basically what I know so far, you know, I, I'm, I also learn as I go. <laughs> so the Uncidium Sweet Sugar, um, this one's Uncidium Sweet Sugar Million Dollar. I know that I bought from Brethren, another one that says Uncidium Sweet Sugar, um, just Sweet Sugar, not the Million Dollar. But this one right here came from Brethren. This one was a little bit more expensive, I guess, because it's you could tell the difference like in the suda bulbs, just a little bit thicker, bigger. The flowers are a little bit bigger. So this one with Brethren, I paid 25. And like I said, these um, sweet sugars are a little bit bigger, um, which is why they're, they're more expensive. And then I did get, you see that? And then I, get, I did get another set of 12 with Ophi, um, which just said like, dancing lady on it or something i don't remember is this one from i don't think this one's from ofi i think this is still the sweet sugar oh no let me see 
kind of see because the pseudobulbs and the ones that I got from Opie were just a little smaller. I know that these are from, are the ones that I got from Ophi for 15 each. Yeah, so these pseudobulbs are just a little bit smaller and the flowers are also a little bit smaller. All right, so I've added all of those and they're doing, even after the storm, they're still doing good. And then all of, all of the cuttings from Smiley, I went ahead and added them sporadically to any, any, any little spot that I had around the garden but <laughs> hey Rome. but i did focus on on my oak trees so i'm not gonna walk the grass is super wet you see where i put them that was a big big size cutting right there big big division i put it there i put it on on this one i added more so soon sorry i added more on on that one so those divisions from smiley of the ancidium are going to be more on the outers on the other outer part of my garden and then i also put them on different different palms and <laughs> looks like it's going to start raining soon look at their faces yeah the wind is picking up so I mean, not, I didn't see any damage, just a lot of rain, which is why I want to start treating with, with Fizana right away to just um, try to prevent any fungus from, from developing. So let me show you what I'm gonna use really quick because I feel like it's gonna start raining soon. And it's still too zoomed. There you go. You know, June 4th, and we're already having to deal with tropical storms. I really hope that this hurricane season is not too, too crazy. I saw some orchids in here. Oh, and look at my... <laughs> I have to mount this, you guys. This is one of the Tidianas that I have to still put. How did I get over here? Just waiting for the rain to stop so I can also get her attached. So for the... I know I showed you guys... I know I showed you guys my Ingrecum. It's doing better. And then over here, I have the fowls. That, the one that Marley gave me, I love it. It's so pretty, this yellow one. And it's fragrant. And then the other two fowls that I also was also gifted with the variegated leaves. I'm thinking of putting them, and let me see if I find the mount. Since I'm here, I can already show you. And you guys can tell me what you think. So I'm thinking, here's my little mount stand. Let's see, I'm thinking of either, I mean, I love this mount. Look at how beautiful this piece is. This one, I got it with um, a Tamiami with Florida Nursery. I always forget their name. Um, they're the ones in Homestead that I wanna go visit soon. But there's this mount. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this one. So I was thinking maybe the fowls would look pretty on here or maybe like in one of these longer corks. So let me know what you think is best that's my little mount a little mount section there which maybe i'll mount today since it's like a an ugly rainy day and i'll probably be here for a while and then you guys um wanted me to put this one outside once the flowers fade around the pool um so this one here this dendrobium can take full sun so thinking of moving her once the flowers fade out there. So, all right, so let me show you what I'm gonna be using today, you guys. Very important. When there is a lot of rain, and let me just actually do this. Very important, I mean, I still have my coffee here. I don't sweat, I sparkle. <laughs> That's what my mug says this morning. Mm. So let me show you. So this is Fizan 20, you guys. Fizan 20 is, I love it, first of all, because it doesn't smell. Is that lightning? It doesn't smell as much as bad as like the orthene. Well, the orthene is for, um, is for thrips. It doesn't smell as bad as the, um, the thiamyl or the captain fungicide. At, you know what? I have those over there too. Um, let me go grab them. 
Um, so it doesn't smell as bad as the other um, systematic fungicides, which are these two right over here. These are super strong. But since I'm talking about um, fungicides, I might as well just um, bring these into the conversation also. So for you guys wondering what to use for fungal, for fungal infections, for fungus, how to treat your orchids for fungus, this is what I always use. Um, there's also another one called Dithane, which I've, Dithane 45, I think. Um, Dithane, which I've never um, got because I had gotten these. So I just wanted to use, finish using these up to then try something different. So um, for preventative, so if you're just trying to like prevent fungus from forming, which is what I'm trying to do today, um, I like to use the Fizen 20. Now Fizen 20 is an algicide, fungicide, bactericide, and viricide. <laughs> um, it is very um, soapy. Like once you add it to your mix, it becomes like kind of like a soap, really um, soapy um, solution. And it doesn't smell bad at all. So this is going to be topical, which means that, you know, it starts treating, you know, the, you know, it's, it's not systematic like the other ones. So it's not something that gets um, sucked in by the roots and then keeps working. This is just like a topical, um, topical solution, uh, not as toxic as the other ones. I love to use this as a preventative because like I said, it's very, it's just very light. It's not, it doesn't smell bad. It's not as toxic. So what I like to do is that I like to mix this inside my sprayer and i'm going to talk to you guys about the sprayer because i get so many questions you guys some of you guys still don't understand how this works <laughs> um so what i do is that i put um one teaspoon per gallon of water actually it says here um i've always used one teaspoon but now i'm here reading here two teaspoons so you can do two teaspoons or one tablespoon of um Fizen 20 per gallon of water so right here, it even says for orchids. Can you guys read that? For orchids, adult plants use two teaspoons of, of Fizan per gallon of water. So there you go. So let's do that. Let's do that, um, that mix. So let's do two teaspoons of the Fizan 20 per gallon of water. Now, what I like to use, I'm going to just talk about the Fizen first, and then I'll move on to the other stuff. What I like to do is that I like to use this Chapin 6-gallon insecticide sprayer. Now, I always get the same question, you guys. Some of you guys don't get it. This does not hold a gallon. This doesn't even hold probably not even like a pint. Um, so what this means is that this can, once you, once you use all of the solution in here, that you filled up the water until about the five, let's use the five gallons since it's, since it's numbered. So if you're gonna do five gallons today, you're gonna use two teaspoons per gallon. So you're gonna mix in about 10 teaspoons in here of the Fizen 20. And then you're gonna fill this up with the hose until the five, the number five. Okay, so you're gonna open this, you're gonna fill up, you're gonna fill up the insecticide sprayer until the number five with water. So, shh, till the number five with water, you're gonna put two teaspoons of the Fizan per gallon of water. Each number represents how many gallons you're gonna use. So one gallon, two gallons, three gallons, four gallons, five gallons. You're gonna do two teaspoons of the Fizan per gallon. So you're gonna do 10 teaspoons in here. You're gonna fill it up to the number five with water, and then you're gonna cover it you're gonna connect your hose, and then the hose is gonna start using up the solution and sucking up all, and sorry, it's black because of the, because of the, um, uh, the, the, the seaweed kelp. It's gonna start sucking up all of the solution as you go, and once you finish doing the entire bottle, you've done five gallons of water. So that's what it means. I know that this does not hold six gallons or five gallons. It's just once the solution's all consumed, you would have used up the five gallons. And I'm sorry to talk to you like so slow and like, but some people um, still think that they're like, but how, what you, you're not making sense. This is not, hold, this does not look like six gallons. So that's why I wanted to just make it clear um, because some of you guys um, still are confused about that. So anyway, that's what I um, do with the Fizan. This is a preventative. Now, if you have, bad fungal issues like I did with my Angrecum, you wanna treat it with something stronger. 
like this systematic fungicide, Thiamil. Now, this is super strong, you guys. I recommend masks, long sleeves, um, like your pets have to be put away. This is some really, really strong stuff. Um, this is like if you have a really bad fungal infection. Um, uh, the Thiamil or the Captain fungicide works amazing. And what I do with this, if you, like I said, if it's really, really bad and you're, you're not using it as a preventative, but as a treatment, um, you you um, wanna mix this the same way you would mix the Fizan, like I explained to you, but this one, let's see. This one, I, I think that I did one teaspoon per gallon of water. And right now I can't, I can't find the mix. But these two here are, like I said, just really toxic, really strong, but you know, they do work really, really good. Captain Fungicide, they, they smell really bad. Um, but this one is, yeah, I can't, right now it's just like all the, all the information in the back is kind of like the, like the, um, the safety precautions and stuff. But if I remember correctly, I mean, I always call Ophi and, um, and speak to the boys over there just to kind of get clarification. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure this is one teaspoon per gallon of water, um, these two. So, so that's it, you guys. This is pretty much um, the type of um, the treatment that I use for fungus. You got your preventative solutions and your actually treatment solutions right here. And I use this, the, the sprayer to mix it all in. So and that's it. Today's video is over. Just wanted to kind of show you what's going on over here with this tropical storm. Hoping everybody um, stays safe and dry. We, this has been the longest pause we've had um, from rain in the past two days. So hoping to get out there and spray and that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>